So, this is the HeapSort algorithm tutorial. The meaning of HeapSort is a comparison-based sorting algorithm to create a sorted array or list and is part of the selection sort family. This is a slower algorithm, so mostly this, the disadvantage of HeapSort is it's not stable. The advantage here is um, favorable worst case O and log N runtime. So the example in the binary tree representation is in descending order. So the example here is the next slide. We have here the given numbers to sort. So we have 2, 7, 3, 5, 6, 4, 8, and 1. So, to construct a binary tree, we need first the first two is at the top of the tree. And the next one is 7 and 3, left and right. 5 and 6 is at the left, which is 7, so 5 and 6. 4 and 8 is at the right, so 4 and 8 here at the 3 at the number 3 so 1 is at the bottom so first we will evaluate the left side first of the 3 so 1, 5 and 6 is less than 7 so we will now shift to the right side 4 and 8 is greater than 3 so since 8 is greater than 3 and 4 8 will be at the top of 4 and 3 so 3 will be shifted here and 8 will be shifted um, at the top at the position of 3 so if you look at the red arrow here the next slide is since we shifted 8 and 3 we will now evaluate the top so 2 is less than 8 so 8 will be shifted here and 2 will be shifted here then the next step is um, evaluate again the right side so 2 is less than 4 so 2 will be shifted at the position of 4 and 4 will be at the position of 2 so since 8 is greater than all of these nodes 7 is greater than all of these nodes 4 is greater than all of these nodes so 8 will now be shifted first at this stack so it will disappear and the next step here is shifting one at the top since one is at the leftmost bottom of the tree if, if um, a tree has a hanging node most especially at the left the left most tree um, one will be shifted at the top to replace eight so we will now examine once more this tree so the left side is okay then um, we will evaluate now this part so 1 and uh, 7 1 is less than 7 so we will switch 7 will be here at the top and 1 will be here at the bottom so the next step is um, we will shift 
to this part so 1 and 6 so 6 is greater than 1 and 1 is less than 6 so they will shift places then 6 will be here and 1 will be here and now we'll evaluate now if right the right side is okay so 4 is greater than 2 and 3 so that's okay 6 is greater than 5 and 1 okay so 7 is greater than all of these nodes so 7 will now be at the next stack then as you can see here 3 will now be at the position of 7 since 7 will be at the stack 3 will replace 7 so 3 since um, there is no hanging node at the left side the rule here is um, you will switch to the right side automatically if there is there is none left in the left side so 3 will be here and then the next step is 3 let's uh, examine once more let's evaluate this left side this is okay so 6 is greater than 5 and 1 so 3 is less than 6 so they will switch places then when they switch places the next step is switch the left side 3 is less than 5 so they will switch places then this node is this part is okay though so 5 is greater than 3 and 1 and 4 is greater than 2 6 is greater than all of these numbers so 6 will be at the next stop 6 will disappear then 2 will replace 6 since um there is a hanging node at the right side So left side once more and um, they will switch places once more then once again um, 2 is less than 3 so 3 will be here then the next step is uh, placing 5 next to the to the stack since 5 is greater than all of this and 3 is greater than all of this and 4 is a hanging node so 4 will replace 5 and again we'll evaluate so 4 will be at the next since 3 and 2 and 1 are ok so 4 will now be at the next stop 3 2 and 1 so basically a, a correct um, descending order so 3 will be here 2 will be here and now 1 will be at the last so the output of the hip sort in a stack is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, 7, 8 so that's the pattern of the hip sort.